So first of all, what are these allowable expenses of the business? These are the expenses which the taxman, according to the Income Tax Act, allows you to deduct against the taxable incomes of the business. When you are looking at the gross profit method, we saw that once you get the gross profit of the business for a trading business, you normally add the taxable operating incomes of the business. Here they are. After that, you deduct the allowable business expenses. So they are used to reduce the amount of profit to be taxed of the business down there. So what are those ones? They are, we start with number one. We call them all revenue and commercial expenses of the business. These are two terms that are very broad. Revenues, commercial, expenses of the business. What do they mean? We start with the revenue. These are the expenses of the business which you incur and the benefit out of those expenses will be realized within the year. It means the benefit out of those expenses do not extend beyond the current year. A good example are like electricity expenses of the business. You'll find that electricity expenses are usually paid as per month. So you consume the electricity for one month, you pay for it. You go to the next month, you pay for it. That month, that way. By the time you get to the end of the year, you can see that these are the electricity expenses I've incurred for that year, and these are the profit I've generated out of them. And then when you go to the next year, you forget about the previous year electricity expense. You start afresh. When it comes to the rent expense, when it comes to the salaries and wages, these are the expenses we are talking about because you get the benefit out of the expense within the year. These are the ones that we call revenue. Now, the next one is commercial expenses. Commercial, it means that these are the expenses you incur and they help you in generation of the incomes of the business. That tell you that these, those expenses that do not assist you in generation of income are not allowable. A good example is the example I gave when you were looking at the revenue expenditure. We use an example of electricity. It is a revenue expenditure. But you can have two types of electricity expense. The electricity expense of the business and the electricity expense of the owner of the business at home. The one at home is a private electricity expense. It is not commercial. We call it non-commercial. So that one is not allowable. When you talk of rent expenses, you can have the rent expense of the business and rent expense of the owner of the business at home. The one for the business is a commercial one. And that you, can, you are allowed to deduct against the taxable incomes of the business. The one at home, the private one, is not commercial. So that is usually not a good expense. And the same case happened to other, like salary. You can have salary for the staff at your uh, place of work or the business. And the one at home, like for the house help. That is not a the one relating to them, to the house help. So what we are saying is that for an expense to be a it must be revenue and commercial. Both of them. And we have given an example of this one. Rent ex business rent expense, business electricity expense, business stationary expenses, business salaries and wages, all those are revenue and commercial, and so they are usually allowable business expenses. Number two, we have trade, bad debts, written off. Trade, Bad debts written off. This we mentioned about it when you are looking at the incomes. But when you are looking at the incomes, you are talking about when they are recovered. 
and we said this if you sell your goods on credit and the customer take four years without paying the taxman allow you to consider that as a loss and you can deduct it against the taxable incomes of the business so when you are deducting after four years it is allowable if it is trade trade means you had sold an item that you did with in the business. If you're in the business of selling computer, you had sold a computer on credit, the customer refused to pay, four years have passed. Now, you consider that a loss. You are allowed to deduct that against the taxable incomes of the business. But as you're going to learn, non-trade bad debt written off is usually not allowable. And we gave an example of non-trade. If you sell a fixed asset on credit, if you lend money to your staff, your customers, your friends, your relatives, and they refuse to pay you, and you say now four years have passed, let me write them off, the taxman will not allow you to deduct that against the taxable incomes of the business because it's not business related. So trade bad debt written off is usually allowable. Number three, we have specific provision for bad debts. Another way to put it is the increase in specific provision for bad debts. What do we mean by that? We mentioned this again when you are looking at the incomes of the business. And we say it when there is a decrease in specific provision for bad debt. It's a taxable income. And I explain how specific provision normally comes in. But the question is, if they decrease their incomes, how about in case they increase? For example, when you're starting the year, you have the specific provision for bad debt of 14 million. When you're closing the year, you have specific provision for bad debt of 16 million. So they have increased by 2 million. Now, they are expenses. And they are usually allowable expenses. And as we are going to learn when we go to the non arable expenses, if they are relating to general provision, increase in general provision for bad debt is usually not allowable. Just like we don't usually tax when it is a decrease in general provision for bad debt. That is the third one. The fourth arable expense is the capital allowances. Capital allowances. Now, what is capital allowance? I mentioned it in my previous lesson when you are looking at the taxable income. And we said there's something we call depreciation. And we say depreciation is usually for accountant. Uh, they are the one who normally deduct the depreciation against the profit of the business. And they are allowed to do that. Uh, also, we said cost of fixed asset uh, accountant can deduct the cost of fixed asset. But when it comes to the taxation, you are not allowed to deduct the depreciation, neither are you allowed to deduct the cost of fixed assets. So what you deduct? What you deduct in taxation is what you call capital allowances. Now, we have various types of capital allowances. We have the wear and tear allowance, investment deduction, industrial building deduction, we have farm work allowance, Mining allowance and another one called diminution in value for those tools.